Fish sauce has become a secret weapon for professional chefs all around the world. And it's really no wonder. Just a few drops adds depth and richness to just about any dish. Now traditionally, fish sauce is used in Asian cooking to amp up things like curries and stir fries and sauces. But a lot of dishes can benefit from fish sauce's unique flavor. So today I've teamed up once again with Thai Kitchen to show you three unexpected ways you can use fish sauce in your kitchen. Today I'm going to show you my incredible Parmesan roasted cauliflower, my shrimp salad with a chili lime vinaigrette, and a simple pasta bolognese that your entire family will love because it's loaded with tasty flavor. Now let's get started with my Parmesan roasted cauliflower. So I've started by cutting one head of cauliflower into florets. All I'm going to do is season this cauliflower with some olive oil, some Thai kitchen fish sauce, some minced garlic, the zest and juice of half a lemon, and a little salt and pepper. It's really as simple as that. I'm going to toss my cauliflower until it's evenly coated and then pour it onto a baking sheet. Into the oven it goes at 375 for about 30 minutes. Five minutes before the cauliflower is finished cooking, we're going to take it out of the oven and top it with some freshly grated Parmesan and some freshly chopped parsley. Into the oven it goes for another five minutes and when it's done, it is crispy, caramelized and oh so flavorful. Next up, I want to show you my super simple shrimp salad with an amazing chili lime vinaigrette. Cooking the shrimp could not be simpler. All I've got is a frying pan heating up on the stove with a little bit of coconut oil. To that, I'm going to add my shrimp, a little salt and pepper, and some red chili flakes. I'm going to cook my shrimp until they're pink and opaque, and then set them aside while I get to work on my chili lime dressing. Now this dressing is loaded with flavor and it's actually really easy to prepare. So all I've done is chopped up some Thai chilies. Now I will warn you, Thai chilies do pack a fair bit of heat. So you can use as much or as little Thai chili as you like. It's really up to what your taste buds can handle. I've also got some beautiful green onion that I finely sliced and some minced garlic. To that, I'm going to add some rice wine vinegar, the juice of one lime, a little brown sugar for sweetness, and our fish sauce, because that's gonna add a whole lot of savory umami flavor to this dressing. Now umami is the fifth flavor that your tongue senses. So they're salty, sweet, bitter, sour, and umami, which is basically like a savory, meaty flavor. Umami flavors are apparent in things like mushrooms and cheese and broth. I'm going to finish this off with a little bit of oil, give it a good whisk, and then set it aside while I assemble my salad. So I've got some beautiful mixed greens, and to that I'm going to add some julienne red bell pepper, some julienne carrots, and some julienne cucumber. I'm going to pile my shrimp on top, and then dress this beautiful salad with my gorgeous chili lime vinaigrette. Trust me, this salad is absolutely irresistible. Finally on today's menu, we've got my simple pasta bolognese. I love this sauce because it's rich and meaty and flavorful, and the longer you cook it, the better it tastes. So for this recipe, I'm getting started by cooking off some ground beef. And you could also do this with a combination of ground beef and ground pork, or even ground beef and ground chicken. That would work just as well. Once my beef is cooked through, I'm going to remove it from my pot and get to work on my veggies. So to my pot, I'm going to add some finely chopped yellow onion, some finely chopped celery, and some finely chopped carrot. I'm gonna saute all of these veggies until they've softened up between five and seven minutes. Then I'm going to add my minced garlic. I'm going to cook my garlic for another 30 seconds or until it becomes fragrant. Then I'm going to add my ground beef back into my pot and add some tomato paste. Tomato paste adds a ton of depth and richness to this pasta sauce. Next, I'm going to add some diced tomatoes, some beef broth, and some milk. I'm going to stir all of this mixture together and bring it to a boil. Once it's come to a boil, we're going to turn our heat to low and let this beautiful sauce simmer for at least 30 minutes, but up to an hour is ideal. Once it's done simmering, we are going to finish it off with our fish sauce, some freshly cracked black pepper, 
some fresh parsley, some fresh basil, and just a little bit of salt. I'm going to give all of this yumminess a stir, let it cook for another five minutes, and it is ready to serve. I like to make a huge pot of this ahead of time because it freezes beautifully. And then it's as simple as serving it over a big bed of pasta with a little bit of freshly grated Parmesan and some freshly chopped parsley. How amazing does this look? And trust me, that fish sauce takes the flavor to a whole other level. I hope you'll give these tasty recipes a try, and if you do, be sure to tweet or Instagram me a photo because you know I love seeing what you're coming up with in your very own kitchens. And if you have any clever uses for fish sauce that I might not have thought of, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to The Domestic Geek because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.